hi people of god i am back once more and the topic before i go there let's pray heavenly father give me the revelation that you need me to have so that i can share it with your people god give me your peace and your patience dear god that i may deliver this word in assurance in assurance give me your affirmation god that i would go forth and do what you need me to do i plead the blood of jesus over these words that the persons that are viewing and subscribers may receive this word into their heart and the keys that they need to unlock the doors that are hindering them god from walking into what you have for them in jesus name amen so the word for today is giving it all giving it all that's the prophetic word for today giving it all and you may wonder giving it all like haven't i given myself to god yes you have yes you did but question what about yourself you didn't give to god no that's the difference and I'm constantly seeing emotions, our emotions, our territory, and our emotions. And it, it appears to be that this season, or is it this week, that God is working on our emotions to build us for what he is going to give to us. But he wants us to give him our all give him our emotions because look sometimes our emotions allows us to be or to feel prideful they make us feel so good that we don't feel like we need god to help us manage them you may wonder what are you speaking about let's say you're a person that struggle with your anger if you was a person, if you are a person that struggle with your anger, anger is something that brings glory to the flesh. It does. Because in when you when someone work on your nerves for whatever reason, especially if you're in public, you are not going to just turn your cheek. And turning the, turning the cheek, I mean by walking away. Or maybe even just smiling and be like, you know what? This ain't worth it. No, you're going to go all in. And you're going to tell that person who they was before, who they still is, and what they will be. All of that. You would curse that person out. Not even thinking about God. And there is something about our emotions that when we get so deep into our emotions that we have that we still did not develop a hundred and ten percent. Some of our emotions did not develop to match the level that we are in God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So those are the emotions that God wants you to give Him. He wants to give him everything 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 we are called we are chosen we are not supposed to bring shame to the kingdom but glory to the kingdom of God hey sometimes let me tell you sometimes I struggle with shutting my mouth I'm not gonna stand here and lie to you Sometimes my mouth get me in a lot of problems. And I'm not ashamed of saying it. You know why? Because we overcome through encouraging someone else. And I am recognizing. And I can see when I'm going down that road to shut up. And just to ask God for his peace in the most quiet way. And detach myself. That is something that you can only do if you give that specific emotion to God. 
that is what he is asking this month as i was in the chair i was busy writing um the prophetic word of the day um on my facebook page and one of the revelations i received from the holy spirit was that many persons in the body of christ struggle with alcohol i'm not lying i was a bit shocked by that word till i was like um holy spirit um is this you speaking to me because this is something i'm not lying i never heard and i'm talking about people or persons in high places persons that are bishops struggle with alcohol do you know when your spirit when you need a word when you are seeking something your spirit is vulnerable to hear what it needs to be uplifted imagine you walking into a church where a leader a bishop a pastor is preaching the word the word seems on point the word seems seasoned maybe the word is seasoned maybe the word is on point but if that person is not living up according to the standards of god they are poisoning your spirit because they are speaking truth to you to the pew to the audience they're speaking truth but if the spirit of god is not in that truth it cannot bring life to your spirit thank you holy spirit for the revelation thank you so i'm just telling you that and if you are a bishop you are a leader you are a pastor a minister and you are viewing this page right now give your all to god give it all to jesus he can fix it for you i'm not judging you sin is sin there is no difference between a big or a small sin sin is sin give that alcohol that habit of alcohol to Jesus obviously it fulfills something within you that only God can fill that bottle of alcohol is fueled by an by a false spirit you are called for a purpose do not allow God to put you down himself and cause a shame upon your family this is what i have to say this is what the holy spirit has laid in my in my in my mind to share with you all you guys be blessed until the other video take care be blessed